We greet you all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. In reverence to the Word of God, whoever is able, I invite you to stand. We're going to open our Bibles in the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament. Chapter 30, verse 21st. Isaiah chapter 30, starting on verse 21. E os teus ouvidos ouvirão a palavra que está por detrás de ti, dizendo, este é o caminho. Andai nele, sem vos desviardes nem para a direita e nem, nem para a esquerda. Adoramos ao Pai a ti, bendizemos o teu nome por esse instante de comunhão. I bless your name for your word. And we ask you that you can bless us through it. In the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. Isaiah was a man that heard and saw many things. And the word of God says that in the year that the Uzziah the king died, he had a glorious experience with God. The scriptures mention that he saw the praise group of heaven. All the seraphims has three pairs of wings. With two they flew. With two they cover their whole, their faces. And with two they cover their feet. And he saw the angels saying Holy, holy, holy is the God of the armies. And they said something interesting that back then, related to that. And what is the relationship with that story with the with this planet? That's because the whole planet is full of his presence of his glory it's a prophecy about our savior and lord jesus christ that one day through him and by him his glory will be poured out to reach people and tribes so isaiah saw all that and when he noticed where he was and the environment that he was put in. He made an analysis about his life and he said, I am an unclean man. I have a sinner and I inhabit it within a people that are unclean of lips. And the word says that in that moment he confessed his sins and his sin was forgiven. And the Bible says that an angel took a coal from the throne and touched his lips, purifying him. God is the God that purifies us. And he erases our transgressions. Because God has a project for us. But it, it's not sufficient just to see the angels. He needed something else in his life. And the Bible says that he needs to listen to the voice of the Lord. And after seeing the angels and after being purified from his iniquities, the, the word of God says, after that I heard the voice of the Lord. And the Bible says that the voice of the Lord is like the voice of the many waters. But also, the Bible described the voice of God as a tender and 
smooth that talks to my heart, to your heart. It's a wonderful voice. That's how we sing, right? So when Isaiah heard this voice, the voice of the Lord, and when he talks to us in the chapter 30, and he says, and your ears will hear the word that is behind you. your ears and the theme for 2024 is whoever has ears hears, hear it the voice of the Holy Spirit and this was mentioned seven times in the letters addressed to the churches in the book of Revelation so whoever has ears so we are like that right we all have and we have heard many things is that right so our ears listen to many things, many times. Uh, advices, sometimes uh, commendations, crit critics, and we hear the government, the leaders, the, the worldly leaders, the politicians, the religious leaders as well the coaches, the mentors, the apostles, the prophets, the false prophets sometimes. So our ears can listen to many things, right? Some people used to say it's better to listen to a bad thing than to be deaf. So now Isaiah says that your ears so my brother, my sister, you that came here tonight, you came to, you, you didn't come to hear a voice of man, because the voice of man you can hear wherever you go, right? And what, what does the voice of the mankind has to provide to you? Nothing. And what Isaiah said is, your ears will hear the word. So my sister, my brother, you are, that are here with us, your, your ears tonight, it's here to listen to the word. And who is the word? Jesus. How, did, how do we know? That Jesus is the word it's written like that Romans 10 the word is with you in your mouth in your heart this is the word of the faith that we preach and the Psalm 119 105 says lamp for my feet is your word and light for my way so let's keep going. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith we understand that the world by the word of God was created. And in Revelation 19.3 it says, And it was dressed with a, with a dress sprinkled with with blood and the name that he is called by is the word of God so today you came to this place to listen to the word of God and who is the word of God Jesus is the word of God and the Bible says that all the things were made by the word of God and without the word of God nothing that was done could be done in him was the life and the life was him so this is the word that myself and you individually we all need to listening not only now in this very moment but constantly during all our existence in this world because this is the world the word that will sustain you 
This is the word that will rescue, will save you. This is the word that will conduct you to the new heaven and new land, the eternity with God. So, if you, when the word says your years, if in my years we we'll listen to the words, it's because the word is together, it's with me, which is God is closer to me. One of the name of Jesus is Emmanuel. That means God with us. Jesus says, we turn to him and we have it in him. Or don't you know that we have the gifts of the Holy Spirit? So this word, which is not the letter per se, is not only the, the word of life, but the living word. It's efficient and sufficient, as the Word of God says. Your years tonight needs to be open for that. To listen to the Word that is now speaking close to you. It's the Holy Spirit that is talking to you in your life. It's manifesting the power of God and it's opening your understanding so we can understand the purpose the plan for God, from God to my life, to your life. Your ears will listen to the word behind you saying, so tonight you heard, you came to hear, to hear what? What the Holy Spirit has to tell you. And what, what does the Holy Spirit has to, to our lives, to tell us? It's to show us the way. This is the way. In the time of Jesus, there was a, a disciple named Thomas, and he convived with Jesus. And many people are accepting Jesus in their lives, but they are not familiar with the way. Thomas knew the way. And certain times Jesus says, I'll go to my father and I'll come back. And they argue, how? And how are you taking us there if we don't know the way? Rationally, they were right. Because it's a way that they never crossed before. Like the Hebrews, when they left Egypt, they went through a different way that they never experienced before. And in this way, they need to be guided. And here, the purpose of the Word of God is to guide us through this way. A way was presented, Jesus is the way. So he approached to Thomas and said, Thomas, you don't know who is the way, I'll present you. I am the way, I am the life and the truth. And nobody goes. Nobody comes. And why nobody can come? Because Jesus and the Father, they are one. And he, he was explaining that. The Father and myself, we are one. So to go to the Father, to, to go to eternity, you need to enter the way which is Jesus. And salvation is not static. Jesus did not say that he was a little stool, or a, a pillow, a bed, or a, a chair. But he says, I am the way. And he is, he, is the, he is the way. He is the way we need to do what? To walk in it. Of course, obviously, salvation is to walk in the way. I accepted Jesus and now I need to walk in this way. And how can I walk in this way? If this way is totally new to me, I never walked in it. Then I need to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit because this voice will guide me through. It will constantly tells me, tell me, this is the way, this is the way, this is the way. So you and I, we know that Jesus is the way and we can walk in this way as far as we 
have the presence of the Holy Spirit with us. Isaiah mentioned that the whole glory of God filled the earth. So the desire of God, the Father, is to pour out the Holy Spirit upon all of us that are walking in this way. So we can listen the voice of the Lord and never deviate from it. Interesting that expression to deviate, the believer that deviated, expressions. What is the believer that is deviated? It's the believer that stopped listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. This is the way walk in it, without deviate to the right or to the left. So this right and left is very actual. The whole world asks, well, are you from the right or the left, from the center? <laughs> we are not to the right or to the left, from the left or right. We have belong to Jesus. We don't follow human leaders. So the human leaders, they had a tendency to go to the right or to the left. And the Bible says that a thousand will fall on your, on your side, which is the left, and ten thousand to your right. The right. But, and whoever did incline to the right or left, what's going to happen? A thousand will fall at your left, ten thousand to your right, but you will not be defeated. So we in order for you not to be defeated so I don't deviate from God's project I, I cannot incline to the right or to the left so what I have to do I have to stay in the presence of the Lord watching only to Jesus which is the author and consumer of my faith and before me the target the sovereign vocation and behind me the Holy Spirit is saying this is the way do not deviate to the right or to the left. And tonight you're here just to listen to that. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. The way that you are is right. Walk in it. Do not deviate. This is all that God wants for your life. To walk in His way without deviating. Amen? Let's sing a song.
Zera tudo. Thank you. The Lord shown in the gift a woman. She brought with herself three requests. The first request was for her spiritual life. It's a good thing. Because the word of God says first the kingdom of God and his justice. So first she asked for a spiritual blessing. And because of that, she has two more requests. She's using the opportunity, right? So she's asking for a door, professional life, and a better environment in her family. More harmony with the family members. And tonight, the Lord is promising to her that within two weeks, she will receive a offer of work. And the Lord says that he will do that because you are prioritizing your spiritual life. And you hear a voice behind you. This is the way. Stay in it. Walk in it. The Lord also showed a woman that received three gifts from the Lord. A, like a clay lamp, lit and a recipient with extra oil and a broom. Interesting, isn't it? And what is the meaning of that? So we can leave tonight with a individual clay lamp, very small one, made out of clay. So you put oil in it, there is a wick, so you can it can illuminate your way and your face. On the past, they use that to identify themselves and also to show the way. So that's why the Word of God says that His Word is light for my feet. The Word of God is efficient, sufficient, and it's light. So it gives you the identification. So you came here tonight without being identified as a servant of the Lord. But tonight the Lord is giving you that opportunity to be identified. And He filled you with the oil. So the light is bright and sh bright shine. And you received an, uh, a recipient with extra oil. So you can replace it. But because the moment that we are leaving, the, the lamp cannot be without the oil. Because if that happen, the fire will be extinguished. Then we return to the darkness. This is not the project of God. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. The blood of Jesus Christ purifies of our sins. So God also gives us this resource, this benefit. So we don't, we don't leave the project. So you keep and stay in the way, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit that continuously will be talking to you. This is the way. This is the way. Do not deviate from it. And what is the broom for? To, walk, to clean the house. Our life needs to be clean. Because God is saint. It's holy. And without sanctification, no one will see God. So this broom is related to the process of sanctification through the blood of Jesus. It's the, the resource that God is giving you. Remember the parable of the woman that has ten coins and she, lost, she has lost one and she lit the, the lamp, she, she, she swept the house and she found it. So tonight the Lord is saying to you, you have lost the blessing, but the Lord is returning the blessing to you. He's restoring your blessing so you stay in the way you don't, this doesn't happen to you anymore. So your, your spiritual life cannot get unclean anymore because to get unclean is easy to get dirty is easy but to clean only through the blood of Jesus amen let's stand let's have a word of praise to the Lord
an audible. Inaudible. I'm sorry. Amen.
We bless your name, O oh Lord. We are grateful to be in your presence one more time. And your voice is being heard by our ears for the way that you have revealed to us and for the blessing that every day your Holy Spirit has instructed us in this way. Bless your people, your church, tonight and always. Whatever need your people has, speak to our hearts. And we ask you that you can fulfill and give us a blessing. So open our eyes and allow us to understand your voice and hear your commands. Give us a blessed week in the name of Jesus. In your name we say that the grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the eternal Father, and the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit can be upon us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. Your service has ended. You that is here tonight with us, if you need any extra assistance, the gifts, the word that was preached, if you need any any assistance, you are welcome here. So next service here will be Thursday, 8 p.m. Saturday, 6 a.m. prayer service and 7:30 regular service. At 6 p.m. the ladies meeting and Sundays 10:30 Bible Sunday school teaching and like today 7:30. Glorification services, and you all invited. We remind the church that we are in the month related to the youth. So next Saturday they will be traveling in Orlando. Yesterday they were in Hollandale. So let's be praying so that God can give deliverances to them on the way back and forth, so the Lord can bless whoever is there. We have accept this invitation. To you all, peace of the Lord Jesus.